Hi. In an already oversubscribed terrain of factional groupings within the Conservative Party, with unintentionally comic names like Common Sense, another creation has emerged, PopCon. Pop goes the con, indeed. Our old favourites, Liz Truss, Jacob Rees-Mogg, Pretty Patel, Lee Anderson, were in t attendance, with Farage himself lurking in the background, sniffing around, indicating a possible merger of the remnants of a heavily defeated after the election Tory party and reform UK. The actual meeting itself saw Liz Truss in full demented flow, addressing a freak show. She claimed that we are being subverted by an evil cabal of left-wing extremists who've infiltrated and dominate the establishment. Archbishops, Whitehall nabobs, the upper echelons of the BBC. She's mistaken wet liberalism with Bolshevism. This parping nonsense is just sucker bait for the assembled swivel-eyed. What trust and her fellow believers really want is a wide open free economy, a rerun of her budget that spiraled out of control, bringing fiscal disaster all around. It's all about the small state, which economically has required huge subsidies to privatised industries. In reality, this reputedly small state, these right-wing Tories crave, has another face, a huge army, navy, air force, a massive prison industrial complex, a huge police recruitment, and a veritable totalitarian structure of repression, control, resembling the former Soviet states they purportedly abhor. The pop con is a sick joke, not popular and certainly a con. One more indication that in defeat the Tories will move purposely further to an uncharted waters of right-wing extremism. Will, however, this collection of looney tunes, cranks, nutters, fruitcakes, cut the mustard, or will, as I suspect, a populist, right-wing, nationalist, reactionary backlash come from elsewhere, starting on the streets? Bye.